now looking for Roger Daguna up front, and Roger Daguna can't fire it home. Brian Marks with a loose puck recovery, flings it to Robbins in the slot. There's a shot, and Hicks goes wide left. Mafu skips it in. Mafu scores. Ladies and gentlemen, throw those foam skulls onto the ice as Hicks is shot wide to the left, finds the stick of Ahmed Mafuz right in the doorstep of James Robbins, and Mafuz puts one in an envelope and gives Dayton a one to nothing advantage. 19.21 to go in the first, and for Ahmed Mafuz, that is goal number 33. He leads the Demons with those amount of goals. Jared Hicks will pick up his 46 assists just five away from Mafu's at 51. And lend me those foam skulls. They're making way on the ice. The Demons will start to camp. And the Dayton Stealth, who had a party here earlier today, they will help with the foam skull recovery. But let's recap that goal for you. As Jared Hicks, he got it around the far hand side, takes it towards the slot and shoots it wide to the left. And as it hits off the end boards, comes back, trickles into the stick of Ahmed Mafuz, and he knows what to do. 19.21 to go in the first period. Dayton, they score first, early in the first, for the second nine in a row here at Hera Arena. He saw circle. Hicks looking for Mafuz, and Mafuz can't tip it in. It was Ryan Mafuz, says, there's a shot, and there's a goal! Jared Hicks! Mafuz got stuck with Robbins looking towards the bench, towards his left. Mafuz had it and able to push it forward. It got trapped by Robbins' leg. And Jared Hicks, he'll incorporate a little open room and shoot it himself. And Dayton now leads two to nothing with 10 and a quarter to go in our first period. Deep in the slot, Roger Daguna will keep it away from the Warriors. Alex Norman near point. And boards, here's Mafuz. Hicks in front as he skates towards the neutral zone. Mafuz will find Marks, open ice. Marks trying to chip one in, score! <laughs> right now the open ice for the Demons. They're using that to their advantage as Marks, far side bench. He zips one in, it might have been deflected, but Marks will get a point. Now either be his 15th goal or his 30th assist, but the captain rings the bell. It's three nothing Dayton, 15-51 to go on the second. Tattern wins the face away from Porter. Now Rivera takes it far ice. Rivera trying to flick it back in the slot. Tattered had it between his legs and Steel City will get it out towards the neutral zone. Lester Brown picks it up just shy of the blue line. Now here's Rivera with a shot and score! the slot it was fired on home past James Robbins and the Demons have put two in the first two in the second but 12 27 to go it's three it's now four nothing Demons in the second period looking back for Tattern on the blue line Mafus will intercept it and now here's Eggers Oslins with 10 and a quarter now feeding Atkinson scores Atkinson coming in on the slot, and that is the former Danville Dasher defender's first goal of the season. It is now a five to nothing Demons advantage 
with 10-11 to go in the second. Shots on goal. And here is Rob Dongora leading a three on one, making a two on one. Looking for Rivera, short hander goal! It's Mark Rivera working a three on one, dropping into a two on one. He gets a nice pass to him, and he flings it on past James Robbins. Mark Rivera with a shorthander. It's six to one, Dayton with 109 to go in the second, and 59 seconds to go on Steel City's second power play in the night. And for Dayton, they have scored their 10th shorthander goal of this season. There's a shot. Ricochet's Warriors go for a change. Mafus by the blue line, looking for Oslins in the slot. Mafus down to Hicks. Hicks swings it around. Save by Robin. Score! <laughs> it's all about the second chances for the Demons. Trying to attack the far side of the ice, and they'll trickle on the near hand side and pour in the seventh goal of the game. I believe that was Mafus with the tally. That's his second tonight, his 34th, and the Demons up by six. It's seven to one, Dayton. 12 33 to go in the third. It is Mafus. Now here's Milligan on one on one. Here's a shot by Hanson that scores! Michael Hansen scores his first goal as a Dayton Demon and his fourth on the season. So back-to-back -back goals in a span of about 20-some seconds. Michael Hansen chips it in. Mafus with his second, he's got 34 now. Michael Hansen, his first for the Demons and his fourth on the season. And it's now eight to one Dayton, a seven goal lead for the Demons with 12-24 and rolling to go for Dayton. Pelshay in the zone. Here's Lester Brown, the breakaway. Lester Brown fakes and scores! <laughs> it's Lester Brown with his 10th goal here in Dayton, Ohio in his 20th game in a demon sweater. And Lester Brown, nice pass to him. He breaks it away, uses his hands, fakes once, Robbins bites, and Lester Brown takes care of it in the second. Nine to one, Dayton, 11.50 to go in the third. Lester Brown with his 10th as a demon and his 17th on the season. City, Len Pelche's got the puck again. Pelche finds Atkinson. Atkinson looking for a second one. Atkinson loops it for the five hole. Score! Clinton Atkinson coming into tonight's game, did not score in his time with Danville and Dayton. And tonight, he's got two goals, and Dayton with their 11th shorthand of the season, now lead by 10 at 11 to one with 8.31 to go in the third. Clinton Atkinson, and I am not seeing it. I think the team was, score, Pelshe! A power play goal for Pelshe, and it's 12 to one Dayton. And Demons fans, take your ticket sub to Boston Bistro and Pub. A great place, great time had by all for a free power play pretzel. Len Pell shakes the corner in front of the bench. And now we will push it forward. End of the game. Your final score tonight, the Dayton Demons 12 and the Steel City Warriors 1.
Peyton pours the offense on, six goals in the third, and the Demons win 12 to one. The Demons have proved a 9-0 against the Steel City Warriors at Hare Arena in the last home matchup against Steel City. Demons now 35-13-4 on the season, and Steel City will drop to 3-39 and 2. We'll take a timeout, and we will come back with a post-game wrap-up by Premier Health. We hope you stick around for that. Here on the Dayton Demons Broadcasting Network, the Demons acknowledging the fans, sticks up high. Demons love their fans, fans love their Demons. We'll be back, final score, Dayton Demons 12, Steel City Warriors 1, here on the Dayton Demons Broadcasting Network. <laughs> 